Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. Chris Fitzsimon, Representative Rob Bryan, wants to start a pilot project that would choose five of the worst performing public schools in the state and either force them to close or be taken over by successful charter schools. Now, he's following uh, similar programs in New Orleans and Tennessee, and he's asked the question that begs an answer, how long must we continue to allow children to be in failing schools? What's your answer, and what do you think of his plan? Well, a couple things about this quickly. First of all, I wish Representative Bryan would introduce this in public so we could have an actual public hearing again like we were talking about on the show. He's working this behind the scenes in secret. He's going to throw it out and, and substitute it for a Senate bill the last week or two of the session, which I think is outrageous when you're dramatically changing the way public schools operate, number one. Uh, number two, there's plenty of ways to help uh, struggling schools and struggling students without uh, it, that actually this proposal would create a new school district of these schools would turn them over to in some states to for-profit charter operators the Tennessee example there's a huge dispute about how effective that has been uh, one of the, the advocates on sort of the more liberal side who believes this is a good idea is saying well it's all about providing wraparound services for these kids we can do that now the Department of Public Instruction the State Board of Education just heard a presentation about how we can do that already so I, th I have serious concerns about the issue I have even more concerns that we're doing this again outside the normal legislative process when the public has no chance to have some input input well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.